Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 320 for Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Get your dance. <laughs> all right, give me a joke. I'm ready. Because people were coming up at the show all weekend, either telling, peop- telling Brian they liked it or giving him jokes. So, hit me. So, you know, I can't use my laptop anymore. Why not? Did I tell you that? No. Yeah. Well, somebody spilled apple juice on it. Okay. It was a cider attack. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. Whatever. I know. We had a different one that we couldn't use. Didn't, so. didn't pass muster. No, it didn't. Apparently. All right. So what do you got in your hand? Uh, I have in my hand. Do you have one of these? No. Not yet? No. Well, we, we talked about these last week, didn't we? But now we have them. Well, we yep. had them. We just got them. <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> the new Sailor Graphite Lighthouse. I don't remember if we talked about these or not. Yeah, I think, I think we did. These are beautiful. Yeah. We still have a few. Um, we have them in Chicago as well. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Yeah. Look at that. It's a good looking pen. It is. I'm thrilled that they're doing something new and different. You know, this one, the North American exclusive, this one is a pro gear. And I do like the clear ends. Yeah, that's pretty neat though. I know. So, um, you know, I was actually, I, I went upstairs and, and I, I walk up to Dave and I see Dave's got a scale out and he's actually weighing this. <laughs> wonder why. He, he thought it weighed differently than a regular one, but it doesn't. Because... Part of it's clear? I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, right. was it, it was interesting because he thought he thought it felt different, but it's, it's the exact same way. Okay. Um, well, that's cool. Um, all seven nib sizes? Uh, it's available in all seven nib sizes. Uh, I think we're out on a couple of them, but we certainly can, we can most likely make that for you. So uh, if you don't see the one that you're looking for, just, uh, uh, just give us a shout and uh, we'll make that happen for you. You know, I think I like pens with rhodium trim better. Uh, most people do in the United States. Oh. Well, then maybe I need to switch to gold so that I'm not... You're ahead of the curve? Most people. You're ahead of the curb? I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, what else we have right. going on? Sailor Graphite, light, graphite Lighthouse. There we go. Um, we, these, are, these are cute. Yep, we are having a flash sale um, through Saturday, May 11th. All of our stiff, flexible notebooks are on sale. You know, they really have a ton of cute designs. Ooh. And, uh, you know, I hadn't, I will confess, I didn't look at these, um, mostly because most of them are sealed. Um, You've got lined paper in the front, you've got some blank paper near the end, and then at the very back you have perforated graph paper. That's really, Mm -hmm. oh look, there's a bookmark. A ruler? Yeah, Yeah, there's a book, comes with a bookmark with a ruler on it, it's got a pocket in the back. Why have I never looked at these? Uh, I don't know. I got other things to do. I know. Mr. Yep. Paper did a review on them, so you can go check that out. But uh, these are cool. We um, they, they they flex. Yeah, that is cool. But they're stiff. Hence the stiff flexible. I don't know. We uh, just got back from the show, an event we're just a little off our game, I think. There's a couple different tired. sizes too. There's like a me- this is this is pretty much the medium size. This is the the spider. Close to an A5. Yeah, it's close, right? right. It's like in a t- they're made in Italy, so they have their own. All right, so so we've got the the medium That's and the large. The large, yep. So a little bit of a difference, but these are cool. These are very cool. Yep. So ten bucks each. Doesn't matter what size. Doesn't matter which color. Um, we and got a bunch get, of them. If you get five, you get free shipping over fifty dollars. Right. Yeah, buy five, you get free shipping. And like they're normally like sixteen bucks a piece. So, yes. Um, it's a good deal. That's a crazy, crazy price. So. There you go. What else? Astrobook nibs. What about them? So we have a lot. We probably, I think, would probably be safe to say we have the best and largest selection anywhere. Yes. Um, we probably have in stock 
I, I don't have any, I wouldn't even be able to tell you, but I know we probably have at least 500, at least. five or 600 uh, Estherbrook nibs in stock right now. Including some of the hard to find, you know, 9048s, 9128s, the 9314s. Um, I think the 9788s are gone, but we've got, uh, we might have some 2284s, which are signature stubs. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about the nibs last week a little bit, but. Um, Sold several at the show, but they are going yeah. well online. If you're thinking about grabbing one, now is the time to get it. Yeah, 9048s especially, uh, 9128s, they don't come around very often. Um, they're in that 40 to $45 price point. But you know, if you want to try an Esterbrook flexible nib, which really uh, is kind of a semi-flex thing, um, you really you should pick them up because we just we just don't know. We we we, we come across them maybe once every eighteen months. They're no longer it's... made, and so it's whenever we find them at um, you know an estate or a stationary store that's closed. Um, you just never know, and you never know um, if they're if you're going to find one, if you're going to find none, if you're going to find twenty. It's it's always always random. Yeah. So when we finally have uh, quite a big group like this, um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, so. they've been. We sent out several hundred notifications on, yes. on some of those nibs. So um, check it out while we still have them. And they they fit they fit the new Estherbrook SD too. So which is very have, cool. If you have the MV nib adapter. Um, they fit that and uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth checking out if you have any of the pens, just stock up, so. All right, now what? Last weekend was Chicago Pen Show. This past weekend, yes, mm -hmm. we're still recovering. Um, we went down early on Thursday. Normally we go down closer to the late afternoon, early evening to just get set up, but we went down to take care of a couple things and so Brian could uh, find some parts for his vintage repairs and all that and you ended up coming home with actually, some stuff. I actually, I, I haven't done this in a while that I can recall. I actually found a couple of uh, pieces to add to the Esterbrook collection that I don't already have. Which is hard to do these days. It, it's very hard to do. It usually happens maybe once a year. Um, the first one, um, I, I was, <laughs> is yeah. a double, an Esterbrook this is a 484 sure. double dipless leather wrapped English dipless set. Um, what Brian's not telling you is he has this really giant collection of Estherbrook desk bases. It's it's a pretty sizable collection. Obscene. Um, dipless dipless sets are kind of my my specialty. Um, I was shocked to think that to, to know, find out this morning that I don't actually have this one. So it's like kind of a a brownish a reddish uh, leather cover with the double dipless wells. And so what the dipless is is you fill you t in this version you pull the the well out, the cover comes off, and then there's a little plastic marker in here that says uh, you know do not fill above this line. You fill it up with ink. Do you ever pay attention to that? It's like. Don't well, overfill, yes. don't well, fill your coffee on this pot. One, this one you have that. to because right. if you if you fill it above that line when you put this in, it's going to start coming up. Okay. Uh, but then it comes. A, there's a special dipless pen that has no no sack, no lever, nothing. It's literally a dip pen, but it ha uses the regular Estherbrook Renew Point, and it sits in the it sits in the little slot there, and it's always in ink. Um, what's interesting about this set is it looks like the wells have never been used. Uh, but it looks like the, the base has been sitting out for a while because it's pretty dusty and, and messy and um, Maybe a little faded? Yeah, maybe a little faded. It needs some help, but uh, English set is, is really pretty pretty hard to find in good condition. So I was I was pleased to get that for a very reasonable price. Thanks, Brian um, Brian came up to the table and showed it to me on uh, Friday morning. I'm pretty sure I just rolled my eyes and walked away Well, it, what was interesting is I actually found I found a, a dipless pen a bandless dipless pen in green say that five times fast bandless dipless pen bandless dipless pen bandless dip, yeah. dip, 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 dip. don't all right uh, but i found a bandless dipless pen in green with the 5000 series nib in the original feed uh feeds a little bit wonky but the the nib was bad and then someone later on in the day sold me another 5000 series nib so i actually can put that together i could put it in this set it looks like it's going to fit um you don't want a green pen in this well, I can put two green pens in this. 
Okay, whatever. I don't know. Um, I would do black or brown, but that's me. And then, and then, in keeping with the English theme, uh, I later on bought a, a group of Esther books, and this is a this is pretty uncommon actually. An Esther book LJ in copper made in England. Those are cool. Uh, normally, you find them in in the J size. Uh, I don't. I, I looked this morning. I can't for the life of me. I can't find any English pen that I have that's not a J. So this is slender. Um, so okay. I, I actually added two pieces to my my Esther book collection. So that's so pretty pretty sweet. So that's what I got at the show. Um, did you get anything? Wrong question. <laughs> anyway, wrong question. I have the pleasure of your company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, we had a good time. Um, you bought a bunch of ink. But not for me personally. Well, you, did, you bought a bunch of ink. I did buy a bunch of ink, but it's for the viewers and customers, not for me personally. Okay, all right. But uh, we had a really good time. Um, I will say it took a little bit to get acclimated to our new space. They moved us like across the aisle and we're facing the other way, so it was just a little weird. Um, but it was uh, a good show and a good turnout. Great to see a lot of our friends. Um, I love that it's the closest show to home, so uh, it's it's not a long drive. And then we ended up spending um, the night on Sunday, and we drove into the city with Michael Hujara from Visconti, from Coles of London, and um, had our Visconti event on Monday, and that was a blast. It was a good time. We had we had a serious array of pens. Uh, I thought we had a lot of pens, but then Michael brought his usual supply and then he had back stock of trays of trays of trays so there was there was something for everybody limited editions there were new prototypes of new medicis uh they're coming out in in a few weeks um the new homo sapiens magma that's uh, very had that cool. there so that was cool um and uh he ended up leaving quite a bit of stuff in chicago so if you are in the chicago area definitely go in, we are more than fully restocked down there for Visconti, and so. there's some beautiful new stuff. Um, it, you know, last year I got my Visconti, uh, the Medici ballpoint, and uh, I still use it all the time. Mm -hmm. I love the rose gold trim. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's a good looking pen. The, the, the new Medicis are, are uh, a blue. Yes. Blue kind of a sparkle, a little bit blue with uh, yellowish gold, and then there's a black with yellow. Those are pretty. Um, they're gonna be. They're gonna be. They're gonna be nice pens. Um, what else do we see? Oof, there's a, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of cool stuff coming down the um, down, down the pipe, pipe um, pretty soon. But uh, it was a fun event. Uh, a little bit of rain yesterday, but not too bad. And I got to see some. We got to see some people who came in from the store, the, the show that we had seen the day before. So yes, that's um, always fun. That was pretty cool. So. Um, that's kind of the real super brief abbreviated Any, recap. Anything else about the show? It was kind of, you know, it's always interesting for me to see people. And so in Chicago, now that we have two stores, we had staff from both stores at the show, including former staff. Kim, mm -hmm. Kim of Nib Noobs mm -hmm. was there. Um, and so that was kind of fun. And some local people from Appleton were there. So like, it almost felt like every time we turned around, it was like, oh my God, it's either somebody on the payroll, somebody who used to be on the payroll, or um, local people who we see all the time. Yeah. Uh, no, I, get, I mean, I picked, up, I picked up a lot of interesting pens that you're gonna see on the, the vintage mailers on Friday. Um, buying was very good at the show, very good at the show, whether it was at somebody else's table. We, we always have a lot of people who come to our table. Um, nice older lady came who had stopped in at the store downtown. And they told her, well, you know, go to the show. You can see a nice Waterman set, mm -hmm. a beautiful, beautiful material, gray, uh, gray marble with red flex, a nice thoroughbred lever filler with a pencil. Um, you know, she came up to the table. We, we managed to make a deal on that. But uh, some Estabrook, some Parkers, uh, all sorts of yeah. really good stuff that's going to be going to be coming in the, the, the vintage mailer on uh, either this week or, you know, next week. So as we can get to it. So. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff. Um, managed to acquire some interesting uh, semi-modern uh, Parker and Schaefer Balance Twos. So be on the lookout for those if you like. If you like the Balance Two, which is really a, a seriously good pen, um, 
those are we've only got a couple of them and uh we, we put a little teaser picture up uh, for the show but one already sold yeah one of those is gone we had a couple of uh modern dual folds including mandra limited edition that's gone we had the, the 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 big red that one's gone we do have one more dual fold left but uh so some some interesting things. We're gonna have some seventy five. It could be it's gonna be a good good couple of weeks of uh, vintage. So it's kind of fun because you never know what we're gonna find. You're never gonna know who brings what up to the table. Um, what Brian hoards down in the basement in the man cave there in the pen cave. Um, I'm I'm always intrigued by what is in the vintage mailer or whatever and see what you've gotten done. It's gonna be gonna be a good good week. We had we had some we had some nice Hester books uh, at the table that we had put out available for anybody else. So um, now that now that everybody's had their pick, uh, we'll have them in the mail this week. So awesome! And then next week we go back down to the Chicago store, and we have the pilot event on uh, Thursday and Friday, May sixteenth and seventeenth, and that should be fun. I heard from John this morning. Yeah, uh, John's going to have hundredth anniversary Yukaris with clips. Uh, we've got a couple of prototypes of new Yukaris that are coming out that Ooh. look very interesting. So uh, I'm not sure when those are coming up. But those are coming out later this year. So he will have uh, some of those um, and whatever else he can he can scrounge up. So I have some nice maquille. Um, and uh, we hope to have a couple other things, but I don't want to say it just for... Don't jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. So a couple other things coming in. Uh, but that's going to be fun. Thursday, Friday, 16th, 17th. Uh, I think on the 16th, it's noon to 5. 17th, we're doing 10 to... 3. 10 to 5. It's Friday. 10 to oh, 5. 10 to yeah. 5. 10 to 5 on, on the 17th. So... Um, but that's, uh, that's next week. And what else you got? Is that it? Real brief. Uh, that's it. We will continue to do events in the Chicago store throughout the summer, uh, here and there. And um, our next show, we just came back from Chicago, so our next show will be D.C. We're not doing Raleigh, and we are not doing St. Louis this year. So, so. that's it. All right. Well, I think that's it for this week. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Don't forget to sign up for our mailing list. It's at the bottom of any page on the website. And we do send out mailers on generally Tuesdays and a vintage mailer on Friday. And you never know what's going to be in there. Yep. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pins. Don't forget we have a store in Chicago, down in the loop, inside the Palmer House Hilton on the first floor. And we are open seven days a week. Chicago.AndersonPens.com. It's a nice site. Yeah, it is. Uh, don't forget to like this video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to the YouTube, YouTube channel. I would like you to say that one more time, <laughs> just for my own <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, like the video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, we'll see Is you next. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. We'll see you next time. Bye.